They call themselves the largest, the most sophisticated, the undisputed king of the cyber underground. But who are they really? Imagine waking up to find your life, digital life that is completely in ruins, files encrypted, networks locked, data held hostage by an unseen enemy. This isn't science fiction, folks. This is the reality millions face in the face of ransomware attacks. And the culprit behind some of the biggest is a name that sends shivers down the spines of businesses and governments alike. Luckbit. Join us as we investigate the truth behind Luckbit, the largest cyber gang ever. For several years, Luckbit held the title of the largest and most powerful cyber gang globally. They targeted thousands of individuals, infiltrating their computers, encrypting their data, and demanding ransom. What set them apart was their unique approach. Instead of carrying out the attacks themselves, they automated and outsourced the process, revolutionizing the cybercrime market and outpacing rival gangs. However, their success eventually became their downfall. About two years ago, an undercover operative named John DiMaggio infiltrated Lockbit, becoming the sole witness to their inner workings. Establishing connections over time using fake identities, John gained insights into everything from casual conversations to details about their operations. Lockbit's primary expertise lies in ransomware attacks, where they infect victims' computers with malware that encrypts all data, rendering the device unusable. They then demand a ransomware, essentially infecting someone and offering the cure for a prize. What makes Luckbit distinct is its operational structure. Unlike typical criminal operations, Luckbit is run more like a business. They engage with affiliates, seeking input on preferences and discussing the range of services they can offer. This approach has contributed to their success as they actively involve partners in decision-making and service planning. Lockbit adopted business strategies from legitimate companies such as introducing a bug bounty program that rewarded individuals for identifying vulnerabilities in their software, similar to practices by genuine corporations. Despite emulating legitimate business tactics, Lockbit also borrowed from other cyber gangs, incorporating a model known as ransomware as a service. In this model, instead of directly executing attacks, Lockbit's members leased their malicious software to affiliates, other cyber criminals with less expertise but more time on their hands. Lockbit innovated even further by addressing issues prevalent in previous ransomware gangs. Typically, the ransomware provider controlled the financial aspects and paid affiliates, but some core gangs started cheating their partners, leaving hackers unpaid. In response, Lockbit altered the dynamics. They treated their affiliates as clients, presenting their hacking tool as a product. The emphasis was in creating a user-friendly and efficient product to attract more clients, leading to increased revenue. This unique approach distinguished Lockbeat's leader not as a renowned hacker, but as a savvy businessman. While this strategy is unfortunate, it played a crucial role in their remarkable success. Over time, they refined and enhanced their product, incorporating more features. By 2022, with the introduction of the third version, the functionality had reached exceptional levels. Whether you want your malware to self-destruct after a specific time, infect other disks, or change the victim's wallpaper, there are options for that. Moreover, it not only encrypts data, but also steals the victim's information, publishing it on the dark web for an additional ransom. They streamlined a process that used to take an average of three weeks to a month, completely breaching, exposing, gaining administrative rights, stealing data, and encrypting data. Now, they could accomplish all of these within days. It became something I could literally teach my kids to do. For a while, Luckbeat enjoyed significant success, becoming the largest and most powerful malware gang, surpassing competitors by considerable margin. However, 
signs of vulnerabilities eventually emerged. Recall the bug bounty program introduced by Lockbeat? Well, version 30 had a significant flaw. The developer responsible for cheating Lockbeat, known as 30, was also the mind behind Darkseid, which orchestrated the colonial pipeline hack and Black Matter ransomware. To develop Lockbeat, he utilized much of the source code he had already created. Unfortunately, this also carried over a vulnerability present in Black Matter, and someone discovered it. Lockbit had to pay $50,000 as a result. While this amount was relatively small compared to the gang's overall earnings, the leadership was displeased and insisted that the developer cover the bounty. The developer, upset with the situation, responded by saying he would deduct the amount from the gang's revenue. In turn, the developer was angry, starting that he had brought over the code and developing it from scratch would have required a charge. Consequently, the developer decided to leave. Despite parting ways with the gang, he leaked the entire source code of the ransomware builder. This meant that anyone could access, modify, and use it without paying Luckbit its usual 20%. Imitators emerged leading to a surge in attacks. Despite this, Lockbit still had numerous affiliates. Surprisingly, the demand of the authentic software surpassed Lockbit's expectations, introducing challenges familiar to all of us. I noticed difficulties when verifying data, part of my role in assessing whether a threat is genuine or fabricated. Initially, I thought the issue was isolated to me. However, as more skilled individuals on the engineering side joined, it became evident that this was a widespread problem. The challenge stemmed from the sheer volume of data needing storage and the rapid influx, making the transfer from point A to point B complex. Dealing with massive data on the dark web poses additional difficulties, including latency in connections and storage constraints. Since everything is automated, affiliate hackers simply click a tab to steal data, select variables, and when something goes wrong, it disrupts the process. As a result, a key feature of the ransomware software stopped functioning. The absence of developer support for software updates and the availability of the free version source code in the wild further complicated matters. While these issues, affiliates began to leave, with some prominent ones publicly choosing rival gangs. However, this alone wasn't sufficient to bring down Luckbait. The figures were dwindling, but the empire maintained its strength. That was until a rival, CL0P or CLOP, executed an unprecedented move. With a single hack, CLOP outpaced Luckbait nearly doubling its victim count, raking in millions, and orchestrating one of the largest cyber attacks in recent decades. This is the current state of Luckbeat, facing competition, betrayal, leaks, and storage issues. While each problem on its own might not be too severe, the combination has pushed the gang to the brink. Witnessing these simultaneous challenges, all of which are fundamentally engineering problems, it's possible that they could be addressed. If so, Lockbeat might reclaim its position at the top. The question remains, is this the downfall of Lockbeat, or will it manage to overcome these difficulties? The answer is likely to unfold in the coming years. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.